Hello guys, welcome to Karim's Biology. We were discussing class 10 biology. In today's part two, we will be learning about one important discovery made by a scientist by name Galen, which led to the further discoveries in the field of neurobiology. So let us start the session. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Guys, before we go into the details of what Galen has actually discovered, we need to have some basic understanding of what Greeks believed in the past regarding the brain. The Greeks believed that all functions of the body, almost all the functions of the body, they were controlled by the brain. So this was the conclusion drawn by the Greeks in the past. Because they knew the fact that if something happens to the brain, if any damage happens to the brain, then that leads to remarkable changes in the body. Sometimes most of the organs that are working in the body may stop functioning if something or some damage happens to the brain. So the important question is, how did they come to this conclusion? Do they have any idea or do they have any understanding about how the brain functions? No, they did not have any idea about what type of nerves exist in the human body. In spite of all these things, they have drawn the conclusion basing on only one observation that if something happens to the brain, all the body functions will come to a halt. So this was the observation made by the Greeks. But later, a person or a scientist by name Galen, who was a Greek physiologist, who lived between 129 to 200 AD, he made one notable observation. He made a very, very important observation. As he was a physician, there were number of patients who used to visit him daily. One day, one such patient visited to him and uh, he complained that he fell from the chariot and he had a blow on his neck. So what was his complaint? He fell from the chariot and because of that, he got a blow on his neck. You know, when something hits the neck hard, there will be so much damage that causes to the nerves traveling through the neck. So the same thing happened to this man. And because of that, he lost feeling in his arm, but retained normal muscular control of its movement. Did you get the point? So what actually happened to him is that when he the chariot, something was hardly hit on his neck. And because of that, he lost sensation of one of his arm. That is one of his hand, it stopped functioning. When he says that he lost feeling in his arm, he was trying to say that he was able to move his arm but he could not sense, he could not have the sensation of his arm. That means if somebody touches his arm, if somebody pinches on the skin of his arm, he did not know that. So that was the condition. So this was the complaint of his patient. Though Galen could not solve his problem, he observed keenly the condition of the patient and then he drew some of the conclusions, most important conclusions. He concluded that the nerves were of two kinds. By that time, he already knew that in the human body, there were nerves which carry information from one place to other. But later, after this incident took place, after keen observation, he came to the conclusion that there are two types of nerves in our body. The nerves which are of sensation and the nerves which are of action. According to him, the blow in the neck of the patient, it had damaged the nerves of sensation but not affected its action. Did you get the point? Because of the blow on his neck, the sensory neurons which were traveling through his, through his neck were actually damaged and nothing had happened to the nerves which are of action. That is the reason why he lost the sensation. He lost the sensation of touch. He lost the sensation of pain and everything on his skin of the arm. But still he was able to move. He was able to move his arm because nothing was happened to his motor neurons. Nothing but the nerves of action. So that was the conclusion given by Galen and this led to the discovery of two types of neurons in the human body and later on this helped a lot in the field of neurobiology to discover all the other things. So this is about Galen and his discovery. I will meet you in my next session and in my next session I will be explaining about the structure of nerve cell and also about different types of nerve cells present in our body. Thanks for watching.